here, just outside the vine house, with my tree nursery and baby hydrangeas from cuttings and seeds and things. And this young tree, you can see its leaves are like this. And you can see a hole in it. If you look down here, there's loads of cut out areas. And that is the leaf cutting bee. So we have a population, and it looks like a very healthy population, of leaf cutting bees. So that's a good thing to see, though a lot of people won't think that's a good thing to see because they'll see it as ruining their tree. To me, it shows biodiversity. It shows that we can have different species of bees, multiple different species of bees. And they, it's not harming the leaf too much. So I'm not worried about it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to pot up. Some of these hydrangeas need to go into bigger pots. And it's nice now I can see what they are, though I don't necessarily know their names. My bird cherry cuttings, a few of them have taken. A few of my black elderflower have taken. This hydrangea cutting has taken. So there's a few, my witch hazel, sadly, which I thought was thriving at one point, isn't. But I don't disturb because sometimes all the leaves die off and they're working on roots and then suddenly something happens. So the, all the cuttings I leave, even if they look dead, unless they're so dead, like that, that's definitely dead. And there's nothing on the back of that. No roots. Oh, everybody's interested. There must be a mouse or bear. Your tube, look, your bear all over my baby hydrangeas. My poor babies. There must be a mouse or something in there. Here I am talking about leaf cutters and there's a mouse somewhere or a vole or something. You're so bold. Okay. An overcast, very mild day. Almost humid. I've got to plant those marigolds out. And I've got to plant my sweet corn out. My sweet corn is at the stage where it really needs to go into the ground. Busy.